Hey there guys, how you doing today? My name is of course Callum and today I'm going to quickly bring you another tutorial on how to add Farm Simulator uh, 2025 cell points to your map. So, again, under modern tutorials, there will be this, well, what you can follow, if you do prefer to follow it via text, whatever. So, it's all here, step by step. Um, I will be providing a zip document what have got these three items in. So, this has got your cell points, your cell point generic. So, the first one um, is... So, so generic 1 and generic 2 are just going to be your grain, grain cell points. Uh, product 1 is your farmer's market. And product 2 is going to be your garden centre. You can change the name of it, but I prefer the farmer's market and the garden centre. I'll show you how to change it later on in the tutorial. So, what we're going to do, I will be referring to this in the tutorial as soon as you open your map as the main root directory this is important so what we're going to do is we're going to um for now we're going to get the translations oh i don't want to move it i want to copy i'm going to paste i'm going to stick that in the main root directory i'm going to then copy the cell points the cell points folder I'm going to put it on the map. Please, if you have a placeables folder with a lowercase capital P, you will make your life so much easier. So, under the placeables, I'm going to press Control V. So, it's all under there. Then I'm going to go back to the info to add. Here, I've provided what you need to do in the mod description and then what you need to do in your placeables to add. So, we'll head over to the main root directory of your map, and we'll head over to the mod desk. This is, this is mine. So what we need to do is, we need to go into the info to add. We're going to grab this translation line, press control C, and we're going to place it underneath the maps. So press control V. Now, we're going to need to add these four store items. So highlight, control C to copy them all. And under the store items, press control V. Sometimes it will be blanked out like that. If it is, just remove it. So you've just got the two two arrows. Then you just got you just press control V on that. So that's the mob desk done. We can close that off. We don't need it. Right, so we're gonna open the map. Oh, nearly removed it. This is a super, super simple tutorial on how to add cell points. You can add more, all you have to do is then copy the generic one or the product one, or um, let me show you. Uh, placeables, uh, sub points, so generic. Yeah, if you want any more of these, just copy, copy it, and then just uh, rename it to like O3 or whatever. But I prefer. I've only got two, uh, two grain, and uh, two products because why? Why would you want like three or four grain cell points? But hey, don't shoot the messenger. So now you've got your map open. Minimize that a second so you get more screen real estate. So, what we then want to do is we're going to quickly create a new transform group. We're going to call it cell points. Oh, can I spell it right? No, I can't spell it right. There you go. We've got one called cell points. Let me just delete that one. So, yeah. You can, if, if you've got your actual areas. So let's say you've got like your, your grain, you, you've got your grain all sorted out, just put it in there or whatever, but I prefer mining cell points. So what we're then going to do is we're going to head up, we need to open up the placeable toolkit, which is under scripts, shared scripts, mapping, placeables, 
replaceable toolkit. Why they make it so long? I don't know. The mod folder, we need to open this. We need to make sure it is in our FS2025 main root directory. Bingo. Now, we need our maps placeable config. Press the little folder icon, head over to your map, which would be under map, config, and then placeables. There you go. Open. Now, what we need to do is we need to press the create placeable imported. We need to go to our main root directory, go into map, placeables with a lower, lower P, and then we're going to hit sell points. Sell, uh, selling station generic. Again, one, two, product one, product two. So, we're going to open it one by one. If you've also, if you highlight the sell points, it will automatically stick it in there for you. Same, same with that one, same with that one, and same with that one. Nope, that just stuck it in that one. Why you do that? There we go. Now we've got them. So I thought it will stack. So what you got to do is just move them about. So let's go. I'm going to call this grain01. Let's call this grain02. Put it one. Put it two. There you go. So we're going to move grain. I'm just going to stick them all in here for now just for this tutorial. But if you want, you can move them around your map. Don't worry, if you watch the live stream, you, you will see the progress we've made. This is just an old backup because my, my updated one currently has all the cell points added and I don't want to remove them to piss about again. So it makes sense just to do an old backup. There we go. So now we've got the four. We can close that off. It will ask if you want to invite them to the placeables config. Please press no. Thanks. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Right. We don't need that. We don't need that. Head over to our main root directory of the map. So now we're going to want to open up um, uh, the placeables XML. So map config. Placeables, and here we go. Remember the info to add. We've got the placeables. This few lines here. So you want to copy them and stick them in there. You probably not have any of this. It will probably just be like that. Look, because I've obviously got my grain handling equipment and all that. It's my grain silos. It's all there. So. The reason why I says have a placeables folder with a lower cap, lower P is because of this line here. Yes, you can edit it, but it's long. But that means if you edit it, you've then got to go into here to like then change the attributes, all the malarkey, and what's the point? Why? Uh, I've got two maps. I, I remember. I was trying this before. Yep, and it did work. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're going off topic. Anyway, back to the placeables. So I, I've nicely done this for you. First one, second grain point, your garden center, your farmer's market. So you know what you're editing, because I didn't. <laughs> I had my farmer's market and my garden center backwards. I went to the map, I'm like, why? Because I named these different, that's why. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, grain one. We're going to head over where I've put, put pre-placed ID here. You need to go into the user attributes with the main, uh, main one selected. And you see this unique ID, double left click, control C and put that there. So it's got that. Same with the position. So back to the transform, press the first translate X. Hold down, Control, Shift, C. 
highlight that and remove that and press Control V. So it's copied all three of those lines for you. I know, amazing, right? Do the same again for the rotate X. Bingo. Voila. Would you look at that? Now we're going to do that three more times. Grain 02. Let's look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the locations here now. Position. Because then it saves going back. Uh, rotate. That's all zeros. So we put that in anyway. So uh, then what we can do is then head over to the user attributes. Double left click. Control C. Put. Pre place ID here. Yeah. So. Now. We need the garden center. Which is product 2. I believe. Yes. Product 2. I, I need to switch that around. But I can't be bothered. So. Again. Transform group. You get the translate X position. Put that one there. Rotation. Copy that. Bingo. Head over to the user attribute. Double left click. Put free press ID here. Put on it. Put on it. Michael Carb on it. Now put it one. I've got the window open anyway. I'll put it there. Let's transform position here and then rotation. Oh, uh -huh. there we go! There we go. Now, save your placeables, do what you want. Now, we've got most of that, we've done all that. Let's just save the uh, uh, giant's editor. That's gonna take about a week to do that because it's caches for some reason now to edit the names what you then want to do is go into your root directory and go into translations and then 110 or whatever you call it this this here basically so grain 01 so what I've done your map your placeables, your cell points, your cell generic, cell generic 01. I've just called them grain 01 and grain 02. So this folder, this file knows what it's doing. So you've got grain 01, grain 02. So we're going to change the name. We're going to call this test grain. Test grain, I don't know. This is so. Uh, this is grain cell point I don't know how long these names can be but anyway but then the garden center and the farmers market are obviously named farmers and garden center don't complicate things where there's no need to and then obviously if you add another one if you add in another cell station generic obviously you will need to change this from like grain two or grain three or grain four or whatever and then obviously your, your products, you change it from like garden center or farmer's market to I don't know Tesco or Asda or I don't know Boatyard So just change, when you change it there you will then need to reference it store item Then that name you just want, so let's say Boatyard here You then just call it Boatyards here So basically when you're looking at the prices It will read, it will read these, these end of the lines here Instead of reading the store item Anyway, why am I prolonging things? Let's get farm sim launched up. We're launching. So yeah, it's, it's that easy to be honest. Come on, Steam. Please, please be nice. Oh, she's doing something. Where are you going? It's doing so it. We're on. We've had a flash. She's flashed us. So we're going to Korea. Uh, let's just go into empty slots. 
find the man hilltop. We don't want a tour. We're not interested in a tour. And we let it load. And load a bit more. Mm-hmm. Yes. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Fifty percent. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, oh! Thank oh God for that. I thought I did something wrong then. Yeah, but go. Oh thank God for that. Normally, I hate it when the map stops at sixty percent loaded vehicles. Then you know you've done something wrong. But you know what? Look at that. So we've got that one. I can't remember which one. That one. That one. Then that one. Look. Oh, how amazing. We've accomplished something. They all show up on your map. So you got test grain, farmer's market, eh? Uh, this is a grain sell point, eh? Uh, garden centre, eh? Hey. hey, look at that. We've got them here. We, oh, look, we've got farmer's market, test grain. This is a grain sell point. Farmer's market, oh, garden centre. God to burn it. This is amazing. Oh. Such so good. I have also made it so the farmers market and the garden centre do accept the straw bales. That's why you can sell straw. It's great. Amazing. See? Amazing. There you go. Obviously there's some stuff what the farmers market will, will sell, like your carton roll. You got carrot soup at the garden centre because garden centre soup is great. You got a cement brick. If you got cement brick, sell it to the farmers market for five grand. Easy, see? Farmers market. You know, if you want to trade some clothes, twenty-two grand. Nice. Obviously, your digest, uh, your digestate. Uh, you need to add your BGA and all that. And I'll have another video at some point whenever I can be bothered. Sorry, I sort of kept attitude. When I have, a, when I have time. Obviously, you got your goat's milk, all that. So yeah, got some kimchi, kimchi, there you go, your farmers, all that, look at that, oh, look at that, oh, bottled milk, you know, noodle soup, it's so great, there you go, obviously, no, now you have a sell point for everything, seeds, you know, silage, yeah. slurry, obviously, you need your BGA for that, your spinach bag, if you're into your spinach bags, very nice, Strawberries, garden centre as usual. Garden centre strawberries are just the nicest ones. Sunflower oil, you know, if you're into your productions. Your wood chips. And your wool. So yeah, guys. My name's Ben Callum. I hope you enjoyed. If this works, you know what to do. Head over to the Discord. Add your members whip. I still need to do mine. I don't know why I haven't done mine. Come and say hi, you know, if you if there's anything you want to do. If you have any tutorials or prefabs, you know, or if you've got any scripts, whatever. Come and say hi. Welcome. We currently have 67 members. I want to personally thank every single one of you for coming in. Bingo, bingo. Share some pictures. Look at that. Look at that, eh? 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 Amazing, right? Anyway, and we're making big stripes on the map. That way, there's some MTA. But yeah, no, come and join us. Come and say hi. I'm Callum. Hope this tutorial helps. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Because I've got work tonight. Hooray! Have a good night. <laughs>